Milagro breaks down witness Sean Kelly's testimony in the Tory Lane's Megan Thee Stallion trial. When I say this morning was a fucking fool, it was a fucking fool. A fucking fool. So let's break it down so I can tell you why in the f they saying mm -hmm. that they was about to throw a b in the river. Mm -hmm. They said, Millie, our man, is it not looking good? Um, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Who it don't look good for? It still looks good for Tori. I don't know why the f y'all can't understand that if anybody deviates from what Megan claimed, mm -hmm. that's the problem. Yeah. What are we here to prove? That he her. Mm -hmm. People get so emotional and want to get tied in. Oop, oop, oop. What are the facts? Mm -hmm. The facts are Megan said he did this this way. Yep. That is not what we're finding out. And that is at the core of the situation. So I'm going to need you to remain focused mm -hmm. and I'm going to need you to understand what's going on. This is a court of law. This is not clue. This is not you watching ID channel. This is not forensic files. We're in court and they have to prove things. So hold on to that. Now we come in uh, day seven. It's 10 50 a.m. They had to replace a juror. There was talk about the juror who got to go to the doctor Wednesday and Thursday. So I guess, I'm guessing, not sure, that they went ahead and replaced them now so that this wouldn't even be a problem. Mm -hmm. So they bring in a white, okay? Um, a stipulation is something in court that is a fact. So when somebody presents a stipulation, if the other party agrees, then you have to admit that as a fact, okay? Hold on. So... Um, the stipulation brought up today was the fact that the nine millimeter weapon was unregistered. Okay. And then the people have rested unless they can find, you know, Justin or anybody else. And, um, we move on to the defense. So George, who is Tory's lawyer, they call forward Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly is not American. Do I think that's, uh, that's important? I do. I do. Because I think that that changes the way that he views us as people in this country and the way he's going to view situations and and everything because shit is different culturally be sure to like comment and subscribe please hurry up rich because i need to at least get a piece of chicken or something you can hear me yeah he, he okay thank you so um fix your phone and stop interrupting me <laughs> so they said you remember july 2020 and uh he said yo they say you live near nichols canyon road right he said yeah and he said what happened that day he said i was asleep um and at the back of my house there's a driveway and um a garage he said and it's often used by people because the reception right there is good so you know people usually come over there and, and use the phone basically he said i get bothered a lot he said i heard shouting so i opened the balcony windows to ask them to leave that's what he said mm -hmm. now um i can pull this up later for you guys because this address was listed and all the write-ups and all of that shit and show you where those windows are but he had an amazing vantage point is what i would say based on the location of the windows he said that his son who sleeps on the same floor as him was awoken as well and um they're on the same floor basically so they show him a photo of his home and they said what do you see he said i see my driveway um the car the house and i see my balcony and he pointed to his bedroom and then he pointed to the two windows facing the street and like where the sun was and all of that uh what the son's room was and he said you know um then in the balcony right there that i came out on and so i noted that that was a great view in my opinion they said could you tell us if you saw a vehicle when you awoken and he said, yeah. And they said, could you indicate what a vehicle was? He said, yes. So they show him a photo and he literally draws a square that would mm -hmm. represent the car. And the way that I can describe it to you is that um, the car was headed west. So going this way. And it was up on the curb. You know how you kind of pull up on the curb so you're not in the street? You got to remember these are narrow streets and stuff. So he described the car as being up on the curb pretty much. Okay. They said, um, when you heard the noises and the arguing, then what happened? He said, I looked through the windows and there were two girls. He said, I saw two girls arguing. And uh, he said they were standing next to the car, on the right side of the car. So this would be the passenger side of the car. Mm -hmm. And that the doors were open. If we pause right here, is that what Megan or Kelsey said happened? And that is where your f***ing problem lies. Yeah. Megan said that that boy, as soon as she got out the car, Kelsey said when she got out the car, no sooner than she got the car, she heard Shots. They both fucking lied because at the end of the day, this independent witness who is from the UK says that, listen, I looked, I heard arguing. I go, look out the window. Can y'all leave? And I, you know, kind of look a little bit more. And um, they fucking. So when did that happen? Miss Bump. I bumped <laughs> exactly. a bitch. Okay. And so um, when you heard the noise, then what happened? So I looked through the windows and it was two girls. I saw them arguing standing next to the car on the right side of the car. The doors were open. He said, I opened my doors and I stepped onto the balcony and they started Yes. So hair, pulling hair, hitting each other, quite violent. Quite violent is what he said. He said I only saw two girls, 
And then I saw a tall guy get out of the driver's side. One big, one small. Yeah, she said he was in all black and he was and he was black, okay? Mm-hmm. And he was a larger gentleman. So if we pause right there, pulling hair and hitting and shit. So all of this conversation about Tori on her ass and pulling on her neck and that's why your chain broke and that's why you got these scars and that's why you got a patch in your head and your nails broke. They trying to put that on Tori. But this witness saw you and Megan, okay? Kelsey is 4'11", Megan is 5'10". For a while, he said. He said yeah, for a and he while. said they'll for a while. Milagrograms at gmail.com if you want to do Zell. So, um, he said my son came out and I talked to my son. He said the next thing I saw was the driver intervene. And, and they were all fighting for a while. He said I told my son get in my bed. He said they kept fighting. He said um, they separated and that Megan got into. He's describing Megan. So, I'm going to say their names as per who I think he was talking about. He said she got into the passenger side of the mm-hmm. car and they were still they said she, she just kept kicking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I imagine her ki- just kicking Kelsey, kicking Kelsey. He said, all I was seeing was her legs kicking her. And um, they said, for how long? He said, I don't know, several minutes, mm-hmm. several minutes. He said, I was still on the balcony. He said, and nothing was in my way. Like, I could I could see them. He said, I could see them from the top. I wasn't looking directly at them out of eye, but I could see them, basically. Um, they said, did one female leave? He said, no. He said, I saw one girl go to the car. And then I saw what I thought was fireworks, Mm -hmm. but now I know that it was a muzzle flash. So that's what he said. He saw a muzzle flash. They said at the same time, um, at at the same time, he said, Tori got out and was yelling. He said he got out and, um, as they yelled and then all four of them was right there. And he kept saying this was happening so fast. It was happening so fast. Mm -hmm. So he said he got out of the passenger side of the car. This was the side he said Tori got out. He said, then I saw flashes. I saw fire. He said that he had spoken to police about three times, and the first time was that day. He said it was a lot of cops that he spoke to, and he spoke to a sergeant, the DA, and the investigator, and then a prosecutor's investigator. They said, you saw the muzzle flash? He said, yes. And then they said, where? He said, I saw the muzzle flash closer to the girls. They said, is that the same lady that you saw fighting the one um, who the flash went off by? Yeah. They said, and and she was just kicking, 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 kicking. He said, I heard the gun go off, and it was still he said, eventually, the girl, and this is what they said. He said, the girl that got up crawled and went across the street. Mm-hmm. So, if everybody that thinks that Kelsey got up, baby, that is not what the man from London said. He <laughs> said that, uh, baby girl, big ass, she didn't got up. So, they said, did you hear dance, bitch? He said, no. He did not hear that. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG-TV.